Hey there, thanks for tuning into Duck Bricks. I'm Chris and welcome to a brand new Bricks and Pieces Lego haul. For this Bricks and Pieces haul, we've gotten some of the newest Lego Summer 2021 animals. Let's go on head over to the review studio and take a look. So just as I wrapped up recording and editing that last part of the video, I actually received another massive Summer 2021 Lego Bricks and Pieces order in the mail. Actually, I'm pretty sure these are two separate orders. So let's dive right into all of those plus these so I can showcase all of the newest parts at once in one video. All right, let's kick things off with the first bag right here full of some of the newest LEGO Summer 2021 animals, minifigure pieces, and miscellaneous stuff. Okay, so this order was very heavy on the newest LEGO City animals. You'll notice that I got a few of the brand new lions, which is a really great mold to get. Really happy to be actually able to get a full-on lion as a LEGO minifigure scale animal. They debuted the female lioness a couple of years back in a few sets, and they actually introduced it in another few sets coming up later on in this summer. But it's nice to actually get the male counterpart of the lion, and not just in one color. You see they have the tan color, but they also have a very special white colored lion, which, which actually is exclusive to one of the largest city wildlife sets. So it's super nice to be able to just get this off of bricks and pieces, and while I still will be probably buying the set itself, at least if I decide not to, I can still be able to get the exclusive animal from that set. And speaking of exclusive animals, we have a very special recolor of the Eagle Mold that was debuted all the way back in a People Pack back in 2017, I believe. So this is really nice to get, especially because I missed out on ordering multiples of the original Eagle from Bricks and Pieces. Definitely did not make that mistake this time, so managed to get two of these Eagle Molds, which... I'm glad that LEGO still has the mold in production and is continuing to introduce new prints for it because this is a fantastic looking print. Last up here we have some of the sheep mold. Now this was introduced for actually a Disney Mickey and Minnie Mouse style set. Kind of a strange set to introduce it for and I can't help but wonder if there's a future set these sheep will be included in where its inclusion makes a little bit more sense but they did have a farm set for Mickey and Minnie Mouse and this sheep came with it. Since only one sheep was included in the set, I made sure to get a few extras, and I actually have quite a lot more on the way. I definitely don't want to make the same mistake that I did back when the LEGO GOAT was first released, and miss out on buying the one set that included it, and now that GOAT is $70 on Brooklyn. So, very happy to be able to get a small army of sheep for whatever diorama I decide to do with them. The final normal styled animal right here is the cute lion cub. Now the lion cub actually does come in two different colors as well, this tan as well as the white to match the white lion I showed earlier, but for some reason it seems like my order has been split in half and part of it is shipping later. That's why some of the other new animals like the new snake, the white lion cubs, and even the lioness did not appear in this particular order, so I'm just hoping it'll come eventually. But right now, you can see this incredibly cute new mold for summer 2021 featuring a baby lion cub. One of my favorite baby animal molds LEGO's done basically ever. I think it's a really just cute little thing. One last animal that technically has nothing to do with the real world is this Mare from Ninjago. This is actually a reprint for the Manta Ray mold introduced just last year for LEGO City Diving. And I think it's a really cool fantasy inspired print. I didn't even realize they could print the Manta Ray piece all the way around like that. I love the aqua color for the manta ray and the print is suitably fantasy-esque and looks really great, especially to army build or just a mass in different fantasy ocean-like settings, especially because these only appear in a few select sets in the Ninjago Seabound line, I wanted to get a few more just to have a couple extras. And speaking of Ninjago Seabound, you'll notice some very special pieces here. Now this is actually my first time interacting with these brand new Ninjago Seabound diving tank pieces, particularly because I pre-ordered all of the new Summer 2021 sets all the way back in May, but unfortunately due to shipping delays, unlike previous years, these still haven't arrived at my house. So right now I just have these. Now what's very unfortunate is that I attempted to order the entire Scuba Nia minifigure. So Nia was in this outfit throughout basically the entire Seabound season, and unfortunately it only appears in the most expensive set. So if I wanted to have an extra one to play with as well as display, then that's kind of unfortunate because she only does appear in this very prominent outfit in one set. 
and so I tried to order the entire outfit off of Bricks and Pieces, but for whatever reason, the torso was cancelled, and I'm left with just the legs and uh, the hair piece right here. So, you actually could get the diving piece, the diving helmet as well. Again, this order was split up into multiple ones for whatever reason, and that, I guess, is coming in a future order, so diving, uh, the diving helmet here is not included with this haul in particular, but everything else is except for the torso, which was confirmed to be cancelled for whatever reason. I don't really know why they chose to cancel that specific one. Not really sure what I'm going to be doing with these because the torsos were not included. Maybe I can bricklink the torsos or call up LEGO to try to get them, but it is quite unfortunate that I have the legs, the scuba tanks, the helmets coming in a different order, but no torso. So, not really sure what I'll do with these, setting it aside for now. One of my favorite new pieces, though, from LEGO Ninjago is this brand new dual molded Nia hair and headband piece. Kind of surprised they didn't debut this with the island sets where the rest of the ninja wore headbands, but I guess that was a budgeting and mold allocation problem. And so we're just getting it for one particular figure. It is the Golden Legacy Nia figure for Ninjago Seabound. They actually recolored this piece in a transparent color for the Energy Nia figure. But of course, this is actually the only standard color that we get in one of the Legacy figures. Now this briefly appeared in the show itself. They showed her wearing this headband but with the goggles on the front of it in a very short glimpse during just one posing scene in Ninjago Seabound and then the rest of the season she just had her normal hairpiece so not really sure what was going on with that but I definitely will be using this hairpiece to display the standard Ninjago Nia Seabound figure as well and I think it's a pretty fantastic one to get extras of just in case I want to use it for the other Nia figures and so I managed to get four of these hair pieces, and I'm quite happy to get them Last up for the minifigure parts is just several Monkey Kid capes. I really do like this very unique cape element, and it really only appears for the Monkey King minifigure itself, so I wanted to get a few extras to use for other applications. I can already start thinking of maybe some applications this could be used in, in even some larger buildable figures or Bionicle-like characters, where you could use these as maybe a hairpiece tassel or something like that. Finally, we have here some elephant trunks, but I'll set these aside to show you the rest of this haul in a second. The final piece here are just a bunch of tiles that read the Lego house. Now these obviously are exclusive to the Lego house in Bill and Denmark, but thankfully if you call in you can actually order them, like you can see here, directly from Lego, which I think is a really nice thing that they have offering and allows you to actually be able to recreate some of the Lego house exclusive sets just by these tiles alone. But moving on, we still have one more bag here. That's this guy right here. I've already taken the liberty to build one of them, but you can probably clearly see what this is. These are the newest LEGO City elephant molds introduced for just this summer. So basically the story behind these is pretty funny and why they were shipped separately in a different bag. So if you call in to order the headpiece and the body piece direct from LEGO, they will cancel your order. However, I got very lucky because they cancelled it and actually put the correct element ID, which is the head in a bag and the body in a bag. So yes, LEGO actually treats these elements differently. If you try to call in to order the element ID for the head and body, they just won't do it. But if you try and call in and explain what you need, and I actually have the exact numbers you should call in to order listed in the description below if you want to order some elephants yourself, then you'll be able to purchase the elephant in the sealed bag. And that way, you can just open it up and get the right pieces. So after building these four elephants, I realized that I may have made a slight oversight. You see, they have holes for tusks, but I didn't actually order the tusk pieces. But thankfully, the tusk elements are basically just the standard LEGO tooth pieces, either the short version or the long version. So I definitely have a few extras in my collection to supplement these elephants. Okay, so let's unbox the first order I have here. Now, this one in particular was actually called in. None of these pieces are available on Bricks and Pieces' normal website. You actually have to call in to specifically order these, which is why this is in a separate bag from 
my main order of the newest parts, which you can just easily buy on the site. So All right, I've spread out both bags of this massive haul, and basically I've put together some of the minifigures as well to save some time. The biggest thing I had to get out of the way first were these two sharks. These are not actually part of the summer 2021 lineup, but instead were a new color that debuted last summer for the man-eating shark. Typically, you can't order these on bricks and pieces, but I managed to call in and actually order the bag for these sharks, which is really nice because I love the white underbelly print detailing, as well as the new print for the head itself. But moving on though, other than these two light gray rails, which I just found to be pretty useful from the new Daily Bugle set, and some of the orange air tanks plus the anchor guitar here, almost every other piece in this entire assortment is brand new for summer 2021, and the vast majority of these have not actually been released yet in the US. Let's get some of the other animals out of the way first. These are the new adorable baby elephant mold. Now Lego Friends actually debuted an adult and baby elephant just last year, so I was kind of worried they'd be reusing those very juniorized and kind of stylized molds. They're good for Lego Friends, but not really for anything else, so I was kind of overjoyed to see that Lego City was producing their own take on the baby elephant, which you can see right here and will go fantastically with the adult elephant as well. This is probably one of my favorite baby animal molds yet, and I'm hoping they produce more of these in the future. For now, I'm just happy you can buy them on bricks and pieces. Speaking of baby animals, we have a few more baby lions here. Now in the first haul, we took a look at the tan baby lions, but in this haul, we now have the white colored baby lions, which again are very cute and adorable to go alongside the white lion we just showed off. Some other smaller animals from the LEGO City line include this new print of the Voldemort Nagini snake, this time with a very jungle or safari looking print alongside it. I think I got one more than that, but it maybe is lurking around somewhere in there. This is a fantastic print for the snake, and it's not even one that I knew that they could do. I wasn't aware that LEGO could actually print alongside the entire length of the snake body, but they sure did, and this looks fantastic. It'll look really great in, say, a LEGO City Zoo display or something, and since I love collecting LEGO animals, I had to get a bunch of these, and I'm actually hoping I can order a few more because I'm really liking the way that these figures turned out. Moving on to some more fantasy-styled snakes, you can see right here they reintroduced the Asphira slash Pyro Viper mold from Ninjago 2019, recolored in light gray and dark transparent green for the Lego Harry Potter line of all things. These were used as statues for the Chamber of Secrets, which is out worldwide on June 1st, but it's a good thing to have doubles of and definitely something that could be very unique for, say, a different form of Ninjago villain faction. Some other snake heads that are just released for the newest Ninjago 2021 summer sets are these what people call Hydro Whippers, or they're officially called, I believe, Mare Guards. They're essentially the Pyro Viper Type 2 head molds recolored in black and teal. Now, this was a surprise to me because previously these pieces were colored in dark brown and transparent orange. So, from looking at the first initial images of the Mare Guards, I actually thought that this would be transparent blue, but instead it's a solid teal color, which is pretty interesting to see. Unfortunately, what's really sad is that I was able to order the heads and the legs, but for whatever reason, they canceled the order for their bodies, so I don't really know what to do with these because I can't really do much with just the head and the legs without any of the bodies whatsoever. So maybe I'll set them aside and order the bodies off of Bricklink or something, because I really wanted to army build these creatures. Moving the focus back to more traditional, smaller animals, we have some of the newest monkey. Now, I actually only chose to get one of the new monkey colors. They're coming out in two different colors this summer, but only one of them is exclusive to one of the largest LEGO City Jungle sets. That's this tan one right here, so I figured I'd probably be picking up a ton of the regular colored monkeys from some of the smaller sets, but in case I wanted a few extras of this tan colored monkey, I'd have to get them off of bricks and pieces because they only appear in that most expensive set, which is why I've got a couple of them right here. Moving from that though, we have yet more animals. Now here from the Lego Friends line, Personally, I just thought this raccoon was pretty cute, and LEGO hasn't actually done a regular city-styled raccoon, so if I needed one for a display, this will do nicely. 
I also managed to get some of the yellow colored different animals from the Lego Friends blind boxes where you can essentially get a random color of animal from the boxes. Now I've actually never bought any of the Friends cubes that contain these, but I do buy some of the animals, particularly the ones I find cute. And since the channel's name is Duck Bricks featuring a mascot of a yellow duck, I've been collecting all of the yellow Lego animals, specifically from Friends, so maybe he can raise some sort of an army behind him that's themed for duck bricks. More on that coming up in a fun video shortly. From there, one last animal related mold is this very special new print for the egg piece. Now this is actually supposed to represent crocodile eggs, but I can easily see it being used in say Jurassic Park as a dinosaur egg. It just looks really great with the reptilian eye peeking out of it. There's one more egg which we can see right here. And speaking of the crocodiles, I've actually gotten this brand new color of crocodile for, again, Lego City Wildlife right here. Now, they introduced this crocodile a couple of years ago, but it was mostly in the dark green color as well as a tan color for Hidden Side. But this is the first time it's coming in the traditional bright green color. Now, I am missing the Technic pins that actually anchor the tails in place there, but since there's enough friction, I can kind of slip them in for now, and I'll anchor them in later. I love this update to the classic Lego crocodile. It looks really great to me, and I'm glad to finally get it in a classic Lego bright green color, which was the color that many of the original Lego crocodiles came in. It looks suitably Lego-like, but also pretty realistic, so I do like this new recolor for the animal for summer 2021. There's one more Lego Friends bird right here. Just looks like a kind of an interesting print to me in particular, so I just wanted to pick that one up, also new for summer as well as a pearl gold flying Hedwig mold meant to represent Dumbledore's podium from the Chamber of Secrets set, which thankfully is not licensed, so I was able to get it directly off of Bricks and Pieces. I guess if you really want to see it this way, these new dragon wings from video will also count as quote-unquote animal molds, although of course these are more fantasy inspired. I got a ton of these because I love the brand new dragon wing mold introduced for video. I think it's a really cool mold in particular. It has a lot of fun detail on the back, really useful for other dragon creatures, and honestly, the more I look at these, the more I'm kind of wanting to raise some form of a dragon army, so maybe I'll be buying the other dragon pieces off of Bricks and Pieces after this video. Some more new LEGO video wings are these clear, kind of glossy colored or slightly satin opaque colored wings for the video line. They are really done fantastically, they're not just plain clear because you can see some sort of a shimmer to them. I specifically got a ton of these because I wanted to use them for denizens of the Ninjago Shintaro Kingdom, where many of the residents of Shintaro use some magical looking wings. Despite those wings being in gold, I figured these magical clear ones would also do the trick pretty well well, and I think I'll be using them for some custom Ninjago mocks. Another fully built creature from LEGO Video is this fantastic new octopus mold from the pirate ship. Now actually all of the video molds for all the animals and creatures and whatnot are fully available on Bricks and Pieces. You can actually get them, surprisingly, because most of the first wave was not available. You do have to call in to order them, but this is a fantastic looking piece. You have fully printed arms alongside the side here, looking really great. I really love the attention to detail for these video minifigures. And say what you will about the theme, some of these minifigs are fantastic. And I especially like this brand new mold for a squid head. Just, you can see the amount of detail that went into this from the tentacles on the sides to stuff in the back. And I think this would fit in perfectly well, maybe if I changed around the shirt in particular in say a Pirates of the Caribbean mock for Davy Jones's crew, or maybe even in Ninjago for the underwater kingdom of Merlopia. Finally, some final stuff from video here are these alien heads. It's actually a recolor and remold of the original alien DJ head mold, which was introduced earlier this year. The more interesting thing to go alongside it, though, is this satin transparent green Praetorian Guard armor. Now, I will be outfitting many Ninjago Lloyd minifigures with this armor because I think it looks really good. Love the coloring and the glitter sparkle to this armor element. And for something that's basically been restricted to just flat silver as well as the plain red for Praetorian Guards, it's cool to get this in a transparent color, which I think will look fantastic on Lloyd. And speaking of Ninjago, probably should get these out of the way now. 
These are some of the newest Ninjago Seabound minifigures, which I couldn't wait to get my hands on. Now, I actually ordered all of these Seabound sets, but tragically, my package has been stuck in some sort of a customs holdup for the past month now, so I have not yet actually gotten any of these Seabound sets, but these will do nicely in the meantime. This, of course, is the fantastic Energy Nia figure to represent, spoiler alert for Ninjago Seabound, turn back now if you haven't seen the season and are interested in spoilers. This represents her form when she transformed into the ocean itself and essentially sacrificed herself to defeat Prince Kalmar, who can be seen right here. I absolutely love this figure. Only one downside is that the leg printing kind of awkwardly cuts off near the feet there, but since I probably will be displaying it with the water trail, it's not that big of a deal. The new dual molded hair is also molded in this transparent glittery satin color, which is fantastic. And all in all, this is a really great energy inspired figure. So great that I actually got two, and I'll be getting two more when the actual sets arrive because two of them appear in two separate sets. Moving on from this, we have Prince Kalmar right here. He reuses the squid mold, which was introduced for the Lego Disney collectible minifigure series, but it looks fantastic on this figure, featuring a new dual molded head right here and a return of this spiky armor, which really hasn't been seen since around 2016, 2017 for Lego Nexo Knights. Now, this is a fantastic figure. Again, a couple more of these will be coming in the actual sets. I got an extra one as well, but I seem to have forgotten to get the base tentacles for this one, so I'll be having to place another order for this. Some more summer 2021 Ninjago figures include the Golden Nia right here. Now, this is actually using the wrong armor piece. I just threw on a random armor piece I found in this haul here, but it just uses the standard ZX Ninjago armor piece from 2012, which I have loads of, so I'll be fixing this figure up very shortly. Still a very nice figure to get, and a great hair piece too. You can see another torso for the figure there. And I also got Benthamar, who's this season's side character. He has a dual-sided head for different expressions, and unfortunately, while I tried to order his hair, the hair that he uses was originally the Jokers from the Lego Batman movie, recolored in black, but unfortunately, because of this, Lego considers the piece licensed and canceled it from my order, so I'm gonna have to order that off of Bricklink because I definitely want more than just one of this figure. I also got the head pieces for the Golden Zane figure for this year's Ultrasonic Raider. Unfortunately, I forgot to order the torso, so I placed another order and that should be coming in very shortly. The head, of course, is pretty common, so I didn't need any extras of that. Now, there are a few more Ninjago pieces here, just some extras of the fantastic dual-molded Nia hair, which I definitely will be using in custom creations. Zooming this in, we can see the great reuse of the hidden side Neymar Reem piece in its third recolor to date. We first got this recolored for Mysterio all the way back with the Lego Super Heroes line this year. And I'm so happy to see this piece cropping up in other themes like Ninjago, where the dark blue and transparent blue recolor looks fantastic for Nia's water form. I also managed to get one of the helmets for the Scuba Nia figure. So this right here obviously has the wrong torso, it's just using the Island Nia torso. For whatever reason, the torso for Scuba Nia didn't arrive for me, maybe it'll arrive for use. I've heard some people have had different results with this, but taking off the hairpiece here and placing the helmet on, you can see basically this is what one of these scuba minifigures would look like fully kitted up, except with the wrong torso, of course. But I think this torso works just fine enough. I love the fact that you can actually sheath a sword through the air tanks here, and I really do like how the pieces work together with each other. You can really have a full-on diving mask with this dual-molded component here, with a transparent piece of diving goggles, which I think looks great. Zooming out, we can do some final wrap-up of some random miscellaneous bits and pieces scattered throughout this haul. So nothing too, too crazy here. I got a ton more orange air tanks because these are actually exclusive to the classic space minifigure in orange. And I wanted to get a few more orange spacemen, so I got the air tanks first. And this dark brown or dark orange canoe piece right here is a recolor for the Lego Friends, the TV show Friends apartment set, which is great to get and we have some of the newest ninjago pieces for some 
Additional detailing, I think that this would work really well in, say, a construction or buildable figure mock, so I got a couple extra of these to use in my own Bionicle or Hero Factory-like creations. Now here you can see a ton of different hair pieces, so I managed to get a few of the golden hair pieces from LEGO Harry Potter, including two golden turbans for Professor Coral, which actually haven't been released yet in the US. You can see right here, just some fun random golden hair pieces for whenever I may need golden figures. All of these are pretty different from each other. You can see the Ron hair piece here, the, the hairy piece, as well as stuff for the Snape figure. So this kind of hair here and the turban, of course. Speaking of the golden Harry Potter figures, I wanted to get a few gold short legs to go alongside them, as well as the new mold. This is brand new for summer 2021. It is a new candelabra mold, which will definitely be very useful in even some classic castle mocks. We can take a look at some of these remaining pieces. Again, just miscellaneous figure parts. I wanted to get a ton of the new recolored helmets for knights from the Harry Potter chess set. So I got a ton of these specifically to use in a few castle related mocks, which you can see right here. These are new recolors for summer 2021. And a very interesting dark brown recolor of one of the newest Lego hair pieces used for, say, Dumbledore and Luna Lovegood, as well as some of the Friends apartments. It's never actually appeared in dark brown, which makes me suspect that there will be a set that features this hair piece in dark brown coming out later this summer. Now, we have no idea what that set is. I do not know this officially does not appear in any sets yet. However, you can buy it on Bricks and Pieces, which makes me suspect something or some figure with this hairpiece is coming later this summer. Place your guesses in the comments below if you have any ideas what this could be from. If I had to guess, maybe it could be from the new Queer Eye Apartment set, but I'm not 100% sure because I'm not too familiar with the characters there. Speaking of random stuff that should not actually be released yet, these goggle pieces in transparent orange are only from the LEGO City Stunts line which is a brand new lineup for LEGO City, which officially has not been released yet anywhere in the world. So this is a bit of a sneak preview for some of the newest stuff coming there. For some other random hair pieces, I made sure to get a few extras of the hair pieces recolored for the Everyone is Awesome set, just a copy extra of the strangely colored hair pieces included there because I just personally really like those pieces, as well as a few random hair pieces here and there from other LEGO themes as well, such as the, such as the spring yellow version of the hair I just showed earlier, the new video hair piece just recolored in a plain pink right there, and a new mold for a video hairpiece here in the bright coral color. All in all, these are just kind of unique colors that probably won't appear in any other LEGO set, so I wanted to make sure to get them while I still could. And with all of the minifigure parts covered, we just have a few accessories here. So first off, I have the transparent pink power blasts used for the Scarlet Witch in the Avengers Endgame Final Battle set. Definitely very useful to add on to Wanda Maximoff figures. Zooming in here, we can take a look at things one by one. First of all, there's a number of differently colored black and white swords that originated with the LEGO Lord of the Rings line. These are actually, again, from the LEGO Harry Potter chess set. So I wanted to get a ton of these because I'm raising some unique armies across my different LEGO factions, and I wanted them to have uniquely colored swords to match. So these black and white swords will probably be used first by the Black Falcons in black, and the white swords, I'll have to wait and see exactly what I want to do with them, but they're very nice to have extras of. We have some gold pieces here for the swords used for the Ninjago Mare guards, as well as introduced in the LEGO Eternals line, which hasn't been officially released yet. Plus, some brand new LEGO shields. Now, these are just in plain colors. I just like getting plain shields for different things here and there. Specifically, the dark tan ones are from the Hydro Bounty, of all things, and the white and brown ones are from other random sets. I honestly don't really remember exactly what sets they come from. The white is actually pretty interesting because this is a more milky color than I'm used to. It's not the standard white. There's something special going on here or some differences in the plastic composition where if you say hold it next to a plain white piece, the differences are minute but noticeable to the eye if not immediately apparent on camera. You can see this is almost closer to the milky white color used by Bionicle years ago, which is very interesting to me. Moving these aside though, I managed to get 
three of the new purple recolor for the Lego Bird of Paradise Botanical Collection flower set. This is the recolor for just the standard lance piece here as well as new lime green recolors of the Butcher's Axe right here, which was actually used for a Speed Champions car. One of my favorite pieces to finally be able to order off of Bricks and Pieces are these excellent violins, first debuted in the LEGO Collectible minifigure series. These finally made their way into LEGO Video, which is why I can actually showcase them right here, because now you can get these from LEGO Video, which means they're no longer refined to collectible minifigures. LEGO did charge me a ton of money for these, though. I think they're around $2.30 each, which is pretty crazy, but I can see why, because they originated from the CMF line. Some other musical instruments include the special new mold for the Pirate Anchor Guitar, also introduced for LEGO Video, which you can see right here. This random minifigure head is from what I believe is a LEGO Friends set. I honestly don't remember 100%. I just thought it's an interesting headpiece and probably not one I wouldn't own ever because I don't collect every single friend set, so I just wanted to get one for fun. Lastly, there is a light blue, light aqua skirt piece right here, which I just found to be pretty useful for LEGO minifigure creations in general. And with that, the final piece here is a brand new mold for summer 2021. It's been a long time coming, but we're getting two by one horizontal clips here. Just think these are going to be incredibly useful for building, and I wanted to get my hands on a few of them to try first. Believe it or not, we've never gotten these pieces in any LEGO set ever before. They are brand new for this summer, so I wanted to make sure to get a few of them to have my hands on them and to play around with them. Alright, with that we've summed up this entire haul, so let's zoom out and take a look at everything. From brand new Ninjago and video minifigure molds, to unique LEGO accessories and random pieces here and there, and even some of the newest summer 2021 LEGO animals, this was one of my biggest LEGO bricks and pieces hauls yet, and it's so nice to be able to get these early before the sets actually release in the US. I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know down in the comments below if you have been successful in ordering some of these yourself and which of your parts here are your favorites. Thank you all for tuning in to Duck Bricks. I hope you enjoyed this and definitely stay tuned for even more LEGO news, reviews, discussion, and analyses coming your way very soon. Thanks so much and bye bye for now.